AC fans are not happy with Assassin's Creed Mirage being short. I've seen some reports and comments, even my friends are telling me that they are not fully satisfied with how short it is. Safe to say that most of AC games are fine with it, but I'm here to answer why we shouldn't take that as a huge problem for the upcoming game. And before we get to that, all I need you to do is subscribe and like my video. It will help me a lot as a content creator and it will take you only two seconds to do that. So in the last few days, I made a video about how the game will take you around 20 to 35 to fully complete it. And that's fine, at least for me, but some people complaining because they are not willing to pay $50 to have a short game because they used to play Origins and Odyssey and Valhalla that takes hundreds of hours to finish it. And even more if they are completionists. And I fully understand because in my end, I like to pay for a game that offers a lot of content. But let's be honest here. If you make a game that is vast in its open world exploration, we'll find that it's a little bit pointless to just walk around in empty areas just to get to the point and these areas will serve no purpose other than that an extra mile to hit the objective plus more loading times and more game space. For example, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, it's a great example. It's way too big and you'll find yourself not going back to some areas or certain areas because they have nothing to offer. Just a pile of grass that connects to a certain city or a village. I don't mind it myself, I like exploration, but I would also like to have a meaningful one. If I want to visit and see a beautiful place that catches my eyes, I would like to know about it more. Because other than being an assassin, the game setting serves a historical setting that makes people fall in love with it. And in my case, I love origin settings. The map has a respectful size and even if it's mostly desert, but you'll find yourself appreciating it simply because you're spending time to travel to unlock waypoints and that point ends up to be Alexandria or Memphis or Fayoum, for example. And it's breathtaking seeing a historical place with a lot of NPCs and everything suddenly feels alive. Unlike Valhalla, for example, you'll see the same assets and the traveling just to go to a simple village that has repetitive buildings and NPCs. Here is my final take on this. Assassin's Creed is about being an assassin, but also that assassin is from a time and space that we would like to interact with. We appreciate cool settings and designs. Unity is set in Paris, French Revolution period, and every aspect of it is worth exploration, simply because it feels alive and detailed. And even so, Ubisoft made it so good for doing parkour. So Mirage will simply have a small map, but from the footage we've seen, the map will be parkour engaging. And I will talk more about that in the upcoming videos. Besides, Baghdad will not only feature a city, it will also have outside the gates districts that you can enjoy exploring. So what are your thoughts about this? Tell me in the comments down below. Make sure to subscribe and smash that like button if you find this video worthwhile. And see you in the next one. Peace. Give it to me like